I hope your day is full of whales and dolphins and sea lions and jellyfish and stingray. And that's all I got. Starfish, baby, shells, mussels, crabs, sand fleas. I'm on. Guys, it's Wednesday. We have an amazing episode of Shank for you with the one, the only Gabby Lamb. But before we get into this week's episode of Shank with Gabby Lamb, there's just a few things I want to tell you about. First, I am coming to Arizona. That's right. I'm coming to Chandler, Arizona on the 23rd and 24th of June for shows with Kim Congdon. Um, more show dates at Princess Shank. I'm in LA doing stand up locally right now. And then I'm coming to Skink Fest at the, in September. So look out for that and more dates at Princess Shank on Instagram and Twitter. I'm also planning on going back to Austin. So look out for that as well. Um, All right, guys, before we get into this week's episode of Shank with Gabby Lamb, there's just one thing I want to tell you about, and that's, oh, yeah, socks. Oh, yeah. Look down at your feet right now. Are you wearing socks? If you're not wearing socks, ask yourself why, you dirty little piggy. Cover up your toesies. They're a form of currency in 2023. What I love most about OES oh yeah Socks is that they collaborate with unique artists to bring cool, cool designs. So whether you're into lollipops or aliens, there's a pair of socks for you. Shop OES.com. Oh That's three O's H Y E A H dot com. Discount code Sarah 10. S A R A 10. All right. Um, also, I have merch. That's right. I have merch for Shank. It just dropped. I'm going to link to that in the description of this episode. Get yourself a t-shirt or a sweatshirt with the album art on the cover. Also, we launched this bitch merch. All of that is in my link tree on Instagram. So be sure to head over there. And uh, all right, guys, let's get into this week's episode of Shank with the one, the only Gabby Lamb. Here it is. Thanks. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Shank. I'm Sarah Weinshank, and today's guest is the one, the only comedian, Gabby Lamb. The returning, the return. She's a regular. She's a regular. Point. I'm You're honestly regular. the co-host. You, you basically are. I, mean, I love it. What's been going on with you? I mean, first things first. Let's talk about your bumper sticker on first your car. First things first. You pulled in right behind me. I parked in front of you. What is? Wait. What is your necklace? What does it say? Oh, it says this brand, Dylan Lex. It's really cute. Thank you. I, it's really cute. Your office is really cute. Thank you. Okay, so wait. No, I I took a picture of your bumper sticker. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I go. Oh, Gabby's definitely here. There's only one person who would have this bumper sticker, and this is what the bumper. Yeah. Sarah pulled says, in, in back of me. It says, keep honking. I'm behind the wheel trying to suck my own dick, and I'm definitely going to crash. Going to crash in all caps. Yeah. Yeah. Keep honking in all caps. <laughs> I'm going to crash in all caps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you get it? So, okay. The actual story behind the fucking bumper sticker. That bumper sticker was the uh, the straw that broke the camel's back in my last relationship. So my ex-boyfriend sent it to me as a joke. And okay. I was like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. I got to get this. And yeah. then he was like, are you serious? And I was like, no, yeah, of course I'm going to get this. And he's like, no, you can't get that. You can't actually put that on your car. I was like, 100% I'm going to put that on my car. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think I'm not going to put that on my car? And he was like, you can't. We got into a fight over it. And he's like, you know how immature that's going to look. There are going to be <laughs> women with children in their cars and they're going to see that. You cannot put that. You'll get pulled over because it's so graphic. And I was like, I'm putting it on, on my, my car. car. You can't think I'm not. He so, bought it for you? No, he didn't buy oh, it for he me. Didn't. He sent me like a link to it and was like, oh. And he was just like, oh my God. So he thought it was funny. He thought it was, I don't, he thought it was funny. He thought it was like insane. And it is. It's amazing. It's amazing. And he, I was like, oh, I'm going to get this. He's like, you're not seriously. He started this fight. He's like, you're not seriously going to get that. And I was like, of, what do you, do you know who you're dating? Of course I'm going to get that. <laughs> Why would you send that to me? I think I'm not going to get it. And he was like, no, because it's, it's just like so stupid. And I was like, yeah. And then he was like, that's honestly so immature. I can't believe you get that. And I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, Gabby's definitely here when I pulled in. Like, There's no other bitch who would have this <laughs> on her car. Thank you so much. It really cheered me up on this Monday. It's a really good bumper sticker. I'll see people like, you know, I'll see people in my rear view sometimes. I'll, I'll see them like on their phones, like zooming in. Yeah. Because they're You, you know, got to get a pic of it. You got to get a pic of it. It's so good. It's so good. My mom saw it. She tried to rip it off. She's like, get this off your fucking car. And <laughs> nah. I was like, no, this stays. <laughs> Do you stays. think you're going to get more? 
you know, why I not? I can see you getting more Dude, bumper stickers. That many bumper stickers. Like having a car full of bumper stickers is so fucking tacky. It's but like, such a red flag, but it, it can be is. so funny if it's just, <laughs> if it's just, just the enough. Just enough. When you see a bunch of bumper stickers, you're like, this is a special kind of mental illness. This is like, Don't you think? Yeah, it is. A lot of bumper stickers is mental illness. Because it's like also like the balls to just keep adding to, to keep the adding. collection. Right. It's because I have that one. I have a Yale, you know, just I like did Yale. The, at first it says Yale and then it says you're sucking your own dick. So right. it's a really interesting just a position, right. if you will. Right. I read it. I go, okay, this has to be Gavin. You go, did she go to Yale? Go to Yale. And did he go to Yale? <laughs> and does he suck his own dick? Because yeah. I want to meet this guy. You want to meet the guy. <laughs> yeah. And then you pull up and it's you. <laughs> and then it's me. And it's fucking me drinking a Red Bull and it's me. And it's you. Yeah. Um, that's fucking amazing though. Every, every day it's com Everything's comedy. You know what I mean? Everything. Every, every day is a new day to, I don't know what I was going to say. To be a clown. To be a clown. There <laughs> we go. Every clown. day is a day. <laughs> a new day to be a clown. To be a fucking clown. Every day I wake up, I put the fucking nose on. I go, all right, let's go. And I get into my little clown car. I know. And I drive down sunset. I know. When you put the nose on, you really go full. You really do. The big shoes. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> every day. Are you watching the idol? No. Ugh, what is that? It's a show with Lily Rose Depp. Oh, and I like her. She's beautiful. And she's, the so, weekend, she's the kind of girl that I want. I'm like, I, how do I want that? No, you're like watching it and you're like, okay, okay. Well, she's probably kind of hungry, right? Like the stuff that you're like telling There's yourself. There's got to be something bad about her life. <laughs> There's got to be something. What's so crazy. You look at girls like that and you're like, first of all, you're so, you're so beautiful. Also, so rich. So famous. Like, what do you not? And then you find out that they're all addicted to fentanyl at the end of yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah, then, yeah. Then, yeah. Or vapes. Or vapes, even worse. One or the other. I would say vaping is, is even worse. worse than fentanyl. <laughs> is it it's a good show, though? No. Oh, it's not okay. a good show, but I'm just, I'm watching it. Are you watching it? No, no. I'm not. I don't know why I'm watching it. I'm watching it for her because I need to fill a hole because Succession is done. Did you watch Succession? Didn't watch Succession. Succession, you either like it or you can't stand it. Everybody, I always, this is my like, this is my rebellious spirit. Every time I, it's just so fucking stupid to say this, but every time I, there's like a phenomenon going on, I'm like, I'm not going to do it. You know, and everybody's yeah, talking yeah, about watching yeah. something. I'm like, not me. I'm punk rock. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go watch Hoarders instead. Have fun with your award-winning TV shows. Hoarders gives me such bad anxiety. So good. Do you like it? I do like Hoarders. Really? I like all those TLC shows. I'm really into that kind of fucked up stuff. You know the one where it's like the mother's daughter's one? Obsessed. Smothered? Smothered. Ugh. I'm in love with the mama's boy. Oh, 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 fucking, <laughs> dude, fuck me in my ass. They're so good. I love those shows. They They're are so good. Did you watch Vanderpump Rules? I didn't watch Vanderpump oh, Rules. I got into that late and now I'm like, yeah. I went back. I feel like I'm too late for it. Now you can just watch the 10th season. It's fine if you miss oh, the other really? nine. I don't need yeah. to watch from the beginning. Because no. that's what stresses me out. I'm like, there's so it. many. That's what I feel about like reality shows. Mm -hmm. You can't take them too seriously. Right? Yeah. Here's one that what? I can't stop thinking about that I just got into last night was uh it's shiny happy people that what is that oh oh uh, it's a new docuseries on amazon it's about the duggards remember that family oh yeah yeah i heard they're all sickos yeah and they're, like, the 19 kids and counting and like mm -hmm. yeah yeah, it's yeah yeah so good dude and aren't they like trying to take over the world or something they're the duggards? they're kind of so they're they're a fundamentalist like christian <sighs> Already group. so much. I just, I just got to chill up. Oh, spine. it's it's so good. It's so dark. Tw 19 fucking kids. She was pregnant with the 20th and they didn't find a heartbeat. And you see her like, you know, with the getting the fucking the sonogram. She's like, oh, no heartbeat. Like <laughs> almost like feigning like she's sad. But at the, you're like, there's no way you can be sad. You how do you have you have 19 other kids? You're not sad. Also, d w could you imagine Having no. 19 kids. No. And so the way that it, the way that their family works is that they like pass, they have like a buddy system where it's like the older kids. Then Raise take, the younger kids. Yes. So it's like the mom is just like fucking pumping them out and she's giving them to the older kids. And she's like, all right, this is yours now. It's insane. It's fucking insane. And mm. the oldest brother was like molesting the little sisters. 
What are you going to do in a family of 19? In a family, you can't monitor everything. You I guess. can't monitor everything. I mean, it's dark though. And they, and they take away everything from them. You know, you're not allowed to watch TV. You're not allowed to like read anything. You can't read in the Duggar family. If it's not directly no related to the religion. No wonder they're doing incest. Because they don't know anything else. They're like, we can't read and we can't watch TV. We can't do anything. I have 19 sisters. I guess I'll just fuck one of them. What do you gonna, mean? I, come insane. on. Insane. <sighs> Can you blame the kid? No, I no. mean, he, he's got no books. He's nothing. He's, he's got, got a bunch of sisters they're growing tits. They're definitely not on email. No, they're not on email. <laughs> they're not on anything. The Duggars are not on email. The mom's getting fucked all day, all night. I mean. Yeah, she's who's... just shooting out children. I mean, like at that at that point when you're pregnant with the 19th, I say the doctor should just tie your tubes. Please, like, come on. You don't need you're 19. You're not paying. You're not able to financially support 19 children. I I, then they ended up being able to because of how much money they were making from the reality show. It's, it's fucking unhinged. And then I don't religious people for some reason always have like church money. I, it's oh, yeah. so whack, dude. Like, make sure you give uh, most of your income to the church. It's so crazy. Well, like I cannot, and I'm sure that everybody talks about this when they watch this family. What is that woman's pussy like? Blown out. I mean. Blown. It's like a cannon. Like a fucking. Mama Duggar? Yes. What's her name? Michelle. Michelle's Michelle Duggar. Pussy. Michelle Duggar's pussy. That thing must be a fucking hula hoop, dude. Shredded. Sh what are her tits <laughs> Not like? Shredded. What are her tits like? Her tits haven't stopped milking in <laughs> but, 30 years. But you know what's crazy? She might be one of those bitches that just has like her body's just like fire. Even though she's spat you out. <laughs> you think she's just. I can't imagine. I don't even like, really she's like know what Doug Emily like. Emily Ratajkowski body. <laughs> yeah. She's just fucking. Yeah. She's Everything so just ripped. like intact. Mm -hmm. Tits just luscious. Why? How? How do you have. How does your body produce that many children? How do you not die? I mean, at that point, I'd like to die in childbirth. I, like, you're like, okay, uh, shoot me. At number 18. Uh, number point, number you're just five. Like, you probably are just like so used to it. Uh, yeah, you've been that's all you know. More than you've been unpregnant. Absolutely, your life is just run by. Uh, how do you do? You even love mm -hmm. all of them? Like you can't. Like there's no. Maybe you have like a, a familial love where you're like the way that you love a third cousin where you're like oh, I love them because they're my family. I guess, but there's no way you have that much love. If you have that much love, then. I don't think they they have much love to give. You can't. Because if you were getting enough love, you wouldn't be molesting your your sisters. Yeah, right. Right? I mean, exactly. And that's the first child. Right. And that's the first one. So imagine oh, how it is for shit, the 17th. Oh, was the first one? The, the first one. The first one's pissed because his mom just keeps sh fucking... Imagine like... Dude. I feel like it's already hard to get attention from your parents when you only have one other sibling. I had I don't have any siblings and I was still like <laughs> I, I was still fucking doing the old razzle dazzle to get my mom's <gasps> approval. I'm always doing the razzle dazzle. Always uh, that's why we do comedy. Uh, yeah. We're sad clowns. We, we're sad fucking clowns. <laughs> Imagine, dude, if that fucking if that family that's either gonna be the funniest, like they're all gonna be the most like the funniest fucking people you've ever met. Or they're do you think gonna one dogger one dogger is like hilarious. One of them's gotta Statistically. be. Statistically. Right? Based on the broken home. The broken home. The, that's the, the siblings. recipe for a comedian. It's, it <laughs> is. Like a master comedian. Like, yeah, but I don't know. I Not don't if know. they haven't been read to or <laughs> seen any. <laughs> or the only thing that they know is this Bible, is this yeah. evangelicist. Oh. Evangelicist? Evangelical? 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, evangelical. We're yeah. so smart. We're getting into it. <laughs> Evangelical? <laughs> sounds, I know a lot of our sounds, sounds right. Yeah. So who knows? We'll see what happens. How sobriety? It's, it's, you know, still there. How long have you been sober for officially? Do you know? Um, I had to restart my time in August. So now it's 10, nine months. Nine okay. months. I'm mean, nine months. Yeah. So is it hard to navigate once you have a slip up or is it no. kind of just like a relief because now you're back on track or. No, it's, it's, I, well, I stopped drinking in 2020, January 4th, 2020. That's my, like, I haven't had a drink since then. Mm -hmm. Um, but I went, I started doing like mushrooms and Molly over the summer. Mm hmm. And then I was like, started smoking weed and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? This is not. Did you notice like a difference yeah, in, I'm, I'm, in terms of how you were feeling or? What? Yeah. My whole life changes. I mean, I become a worse person. I'm an addict. So everything I do is just like at 
is the most right. and I don't stop. And it's right. what I fixate on. So, right. yeah. And I just start, you know, I just like, don't, I'm not a good person. I don't act like a good person when I'm fucking mm -hmm. doing all that shit. So I had to like get my shit back together and I was like, okay, time to go back to AA. And then it's been that ever since. Well, that's good that you're back. Yeah. Are you going to in-person meetings or Zoom meetings? No, I go to in-person meetings like every day. You do? Yeah. Does that make a big difference? Like, do you find more relief from that than like a Zoom meeting? For sure. Anything on Zoom makes me want to. Zoom makes you want to relapse. <laughs> yeah, it Zoom does. is horrible. Zoom is so bad. Zoom is so God. Remember, did we talk about this the last time? The Zoom fucking the Zoom comedy shows. Like it's just a nightmare. I did one. Did you do any? I think I did like three, and I was every time I was like, "This is a fucking joke." Uh, the one of the darkest things I did was I performed in the belly room, but no one was in the room when then they they projected was that what the it. Onto like the side of the building. No. Yeah. So there was like a few people outside watching me from inside the belly room being projected to the outside. So I didn't, didn't even know if people were laughing or not because I was just alone in a room. No. Yeah. For 20 minutes. No. For 20 minutes. A 20 minute set alone in a room. 20 fucking minutes. 20 minutes. I would have just started crying. I would have been it up was, there and I would have just started crying. It was one of the worst experiences of my Like life. it had to have been, right? Yeah. Because 20 minutes of talking to yourself and being like, okay, normally people laugh, but they're all outside. So I don't even, they're not mic. You don't even know if they're paying attention. You don't even know if you're just no. in the parking lot and people are just like smoking cigarettes. Or people like are making fun of you out there. Yeah, they're like, yeah. oh, she thinks this is funny. <laughs> yeah, like that's yeah. all I would be thinking about the whole time I know. is that people would finally be talking shit about, like they can't talk shit about you when you're on stage in the room. So then they're outside just being Dude, like, fuck you. I had the most embarrassing shit happen to me in Texas. It was right after Kim and I did Rogan. I was like on a high. Oh, that was like recent. Yeah, I was on yeah. a high. Congrats on that, by Thank the way. You. Fuck, dude. And then we went to Vulcan and we were doing spots and I'm doing my set. Things are fine. All of a sudden, my button pops off from like where my tits are okay. and it flies into the air and it lands like right here. And that then now I just have- happen. <laughs> I swear to God. Then I just have like- my tits are out right no. here. So then I have to, I'm like, God is so humbling. No. You think you're you're having a good day. You're at, you're like, I, I did something great for my career. And then bam. And then I have to do the rest of the set like this. That's insane. Yeah. That's it, insane. It was insane. I, I think about it. Whenever I'm feeling confident, it just, it's of one course of those that would memories. Right, right after, after Rogan, Rogan too. That's same so day. fucking, no, not the same, the same day. day. It was so the funny. same day. It was like three hours later. Uh, when you're, when you're, when you're busting, <laughs> you're busting. You get humbled sometimes. Wow. That's Isn't fucking that, crazy. It's so crazy. Did anybody notice it? Did you call yes, it out? I had to because the button, it was like slow motion. Like the button was gold. It went up, landed. I had to pick up the button, put it in my pocket. Did people so laugh? Were they like, what? It was like, they, they laughed, but it was like pity laughter. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because was They're it- like, oh, this poor bitch. Like she, her tits are definitely out now. So, Cause it was like a button up shirt. Yeah. And then right where my boobs were. And then I had to go like this and do the rest of my set like this. What a nightmare. It was a nightmare. How far into your set were you when you did that? When that happened? About four minutes. No, not out of four a 12 minutes. No. Set. <laughs> Even yeah, worse. Eight minutes of this. Do you have it recorded? I don't think I have video, but I might have audio. Fuck, okay. But the audio. I would love to watch the video for The video, it was, I just started like, I just actually started laughing because it was so ridiculous that that was even happening. Yeah. And it's hard to rebound from yeah. something like that. Yeah, it is. You're like, how do I gain your trust now? Yeah. You guys think I'm a big whore that can't keep her tits in her chat, in yeah. inside her shirt. That's you what know what I mean? Thinking. <laughs> yeah. That's what they were all thinking. That happened like, to me. She has tits. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> Yeah. I, when I was in, I had a show at Madhouse like a, two years ago and my pants ripped right down the middle. I was wearing jeans and I like bent down and they just fucking <laughs> the whole ass. And I was like, okay, well, there we go. No. It was so embarrassing. Did you have to address it? I, I It happened. I would like turned around and it happened while I was facing, like my butt was facing the audience because- you know, no. I, I love an act out. I, so no. I got like low and my pants split and it was like in front of the whole audience. And no. I was like, did you recover? I did. It ended up being actually like pretty funny. Cause it was just <laughs> like, what else can you fucking do? But it was very much like, okay, now what? Yeah. Now when you're, what? when your wardrobe betrays you. Yeah. 
Yeah, it says, here you go, bitch. I was also fucking pissed because it was like the shirt that was like expensive. No, I was like, I just got this shirt. It was an expensive it, Normally, shirt. if it's like a Forever 21, that's a risk you take. That's a risk you take. You, you know? know? Yeah. I've put too much trust into this fucking bodysuit. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So those tits, they can't stop. These titties. Those tits don't stop. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. How is that's right? <laughs> that's right. One thing about these titties, they they don't they stop. Don't, and everybody <laughs> says it. Everybody sees Sarah, they go, those tits don't stop. They don't stop. Mm -hmm. Nonstop tittying. Mm -hmm. Honey. Mm -hmm. Um, what else is going on? You're you're in a relationship. That's still good. in a relationship. I think when I was last here, it was still fairly new. I mean, it's still fairly new. We're like five months in, but it was like really new then. Yeah, you guys are very cute. It's you guys cute. look like you guys belong together we do like which is why an action figure that matches you it, yeah. i would make him it's he's, <laughs> I, you know i always think i'm like if i closed my eyes and thought of somebody like that he is the person that would come into my mind that's so cute, cute. it's cute which is crazy because i hate men so much i fucking <laughs> hate them. i hate them i hate them i do too i get primal rage of. when i look at i just go you oh fuck you i just like every every man i'm just like i can't and then I, not what him. do you think it is um, you know, interaction, every interaction I've ever had <laughs> with a man <laughs> has left, but it started, not you, um, <laughs> um, and yeah, it's, you know, I don't know. It's, it really became, started becoming apparent to me as I got older. I was just like, wow, I fucking hate all of you. I hate, <laughs> I think, I think the internet really started exacerbating my disdain for men. Oh, I think. because if you're. A woman in comedy, they they find you. Uh, they, you think you're having a good day? Oh, you think you're having a good day? No, nice gonna try, be a, bitch. Yeah, there'll be knock, fifty knock. men. I know it's knock, so. Knock. I'm here to ruin your self esteem and your confidence. They make me fucking un. They make me like feel. I just get full of like primal rage, especially online. Oh, ooh, I saw. Mm, I was on Emily Rodakowski's fucking Instagram the other day. As one is. As one is. As you do. As you do. And I saw that she posted a clip with um. Who the fuck did she post a clip with? Um, Julia the, Fox. Kanye dated her. The other one that Julia Kanye dated. Fox. No, the other one, Amber Rose. Oh, Amber Rose. <laughs> Amber okay, Rose. Okay. Close though. We, okay, were, we were close. Okay. Um, and it was them talking about like how they hate men and how they're constantly like objectified and blah, 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 blah. And then like, you know, Emily is, you know, she's, she's a hot, she's stunning. She's like, and then she posts pictures of her body. And then I, I was like looking at the comments, because I love to look through comments. Um, I'm addicted to it. Mm -hmm. And it's, of course, all of these men being like, oh, so you want to get online and talk about how you feel like you're always being objectified by men, but then you want to put your fucking body out here. Fuck you, bitch, da-da-da. And I'm just like... Oh, I just get like hot. I'm like, you guys don't have any fucking idea. We <laughs> do this. We do this because we fucking can't. Like, there's this thing, you know, if you ask a woman, like, what would you... if? If men didn't exist for a day, what would you do? And it's like, I would wear whatever I wanted and go for a walk at midnight, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's how scared we are. Like, that's how threatening the male species is to women, that we can't wear what we want and go on a walk and, like, be okay. I do feel more safe when I'm with another man. Of a course. Big man. But of course. You know what I mean? But if it's just me, I'm like, ah! Yes. And like now I need to be walked to my car because I don't want to just be and that's what's walking fucked. through the streets, especially after a set. Yeah. At like midnight. No, thanks. We have to be protected by the things that harm us. Like <laughs> that are the most harmful to us. You know what I mean? Like, it's so crazy. It is crazy. It's so crazy. It is also crazy because like, I do think that there are some nice guys in the world. And there are, and, and there, there are, and there are and they some. The ones that listen to this podcast are the nice guys, right? Right, you guys? I see some mean ones. <laughs> well, we're calling every them Every time, out. I know, every time you post me, I get, I, I will see yeah. comments that are like, she's ruined her looks with all of her surgery. And I'm like, <laughs> can you shut, I got filler in my fucking lips. Can we get over? I don't anymore, but can you we don't? get, no, they're dissolved. That's good, right? They yeah. look good. They look fine. I know my boyfriend this morning was like, you don't need to fill them again. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna. And he was like, please don't. And I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> Did you just get them dissolved? Like two months ago. Does it hurt when you get them dissolved? It feels the same way as getting them filled. It's not fun. Right. It's not something I would, you know, spend my fucking time, time, time doing. Yeah. I didn't have to. Yeah. It's not cute. But yeah, you know, the primal rage of men.
they get out here and they haven't come in a long time. And, and they, they see two women having fun and they're like, how dare and they? And they go, we have to silence her. We have to. But there are some, and there are, again, like there are great men that exist. Of course, there are smart, emotional men that exist, but mm -hmm. the ones on the internet are not those ones. The trolls on the internet, yeah. The, and yeah. then they win because they know that they upset you too, in a way. But it's, yeah. it's also like they don't really upset me as so much as they trigger me into thinking trigger. like the world is not as good of a place as you think it is. Right. Because right. how could these yes. people just hate you when they don't even know you and you're right. not doing anything to them personally? Do you you're read just, comments? I used to. Yeah. But then I stopped. Really? Yeah, because I would read them good and then you. I would just feel really bad. God, good for you. You don't read them at all anymore? No, you don't because... This is one thing actually Rogan said. He's like, don't read comments good or bad. Yeah. Because if they're good, it'll make you like think that you're better than you are. Mm -hmm. And if they're bad, they'll make you feel bad by yourself. I literally, I think Miley Cyrus also said that on his podcast. Because really? I listened to the episode with Miley and it was so good. And I think she said they, they had that kind of conversation yeah. of like, she was like, I can't read any of the comments about myself, good or bad. Good or bad. Yeah. Just so good for a healthy person. I'm still so, I like, I get addicted to the rush of just like. I used to do that, but then I I started feeling bad all the time. Yeah. And then I was like, now I'm just also putting out so much stuff every week. Yeah. That I'm like, it's once it's done, when it's released into the world, I just like let go of it. Really? And, and move on to the next project. So healthy. Instead of being like fixating on what someone said about my arms five episodes ago. How much time Even though you it's say, still in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. It's so, yes, dude, it's, I'm so addicted to it. It's so bad. Yeah. It's so bad because I engage and it's, and then I'm a clown. Oh, well, yeah. When and you start engaging clown. with them, that's a problem. I, sometimes I block people. I'll go blocked. Good. You should. Because I'm like, if you're just going to be on here talking shit. You don't get to, then bye. You don't get to have access to my page. Yeah. Yeah. I read a comment this morning from some guy. He was like, I'm blocking you so that you don't keep showing up on my explore page. <laughs> like again how mentally fucking ill just block just block me well just hey fucking block no i know everyone's lost their goddamn did you ever look in the other folder of your inboxes the the requests yeah 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 they're bad whatever's in there dark, dark. sometimes it's like people having conversations with Those themselves they, yeah you're a sounding board. They just keep going. <laughs> and you're and like, like, oh, you're fully schizophrenic and in my inbox. You're fully just like, what is going, going on here? Going, what is going on? It's been going on for months. Just like people talking to themselves. Yes. Responding to every story. Yes. And I'm like, if I do that, if I send somebody a DM once and they don't respond, I'm like, okay, you know I'm never, I ever going to respond again. Have you ever hit unsend? Yes, but I don't. <laughs> I, I don't do it often. I don't do it anymore because I realize it they tells can you. They see when you unsend. Yeah. It's horrible. And then getting the notification that you didn't unsend is so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. So I would just rather <laughs> just, just send it and then live in it. Live in it. I can't with the embarrassment of unsending. The unsending. But I've done it's it. It's dark. But I'm, I've also seen messages where people have unsent me. Yeah. Which is weird. Which is weird. But it doesn't tell you who it is. But you normally you know. Mm-hmm. It's also like Instagram changed that feature. Why do you have to alert Literally. the person that I unsend it? Doesn't that kind of take away from the fact from the feature? It, it's all here to just psychologically fuck us. I know it really is. It, social media is such a fucking weapon, dude. It's a it's a yeah. weapon on our mental health. It is a weapon on our mental health. I was, I was watching like this twelve year old girl do a makeup tutorial. And I'm like, what? Why am I all of everything? And she I could have, do makeup better than me. I right, listen, could, bitch. Here's my question. What are you using? Because your skin looks so good. I am using a tinted moisturizer. That's it? Mm -hmm. You're fucked up for that. It <laughs> looks really good. Thank you. It's from this brand, S-A-I-E. I okay. don't know how to say it. Where do you get it from? From Sephora. It's from Sephora. And it's a tinted moisturizer. has a little bit of sunscreen in it. You got me fucked up. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta, I'm going to go. S-A-I-E. -S -A I'll text you. Yeah, okay. yeah. Text me. Nothing else. Nothing else. It's really good coverage and it's, it makes, it's just perfect. Because sometimes really if you good. put too much foundation on. I put so much on today and it's like caking and it, flake. It, no, it doesn't. But like, you know, sometimes you put it on and it makes you look like older. You're yeah. like, why do I look so fucking weathered and like right. crepey? Yeah. On the foundation. All you need is a, t all you need is a tinted moisturizer. Tinted moisturizer. God. Follow me for more beauty tips. I know I'd be following all these fucking like young girls watching their makeup tutorials. I'm like, how do you, how? Because they have fucking free time. Cause they don't have to work. Cause they don't have to work. 
And they're all influencers. And they all have money. When I was fucking 19. But like, I don't really like the idea of having a child influencer. Can yeah. you imagine if your daughter was an influencer? Like, I don't know. Yeah. What would you do? I would hate it. Would you hate it? I'm sure my parents hate everything I post on the internet. I blocked mine. I blocked mine. I had to block mine. I had to block my mom the other day. She called me and she was like, what the, f-? like she flipped out. She was like, you can't be saying what you said. Don't you think it's going to affect your career? And I was like, my career where I actually talk about sucking dick on stage. <laughs> like, That's my career. The rules don't apply here. She was like, well, how would you feel if I talked about the stuff you talk about? And I was like, I w- you're an English teacher. I wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't be good if you did. Right. You're a middle school English teacher. So no, what if don't. she was retired? And and went online and started talking about that stuff. Well, that's a different story. That's what I'm saying. Where she's going I into want the my classroom, dad to saying, retire so he can come on the pod and talk some shit. Do you, would you have him on the pod? I don't think he he says not until he's retired. Wow, that's trust. <laughs> I might not would until never he's have retired, my mom. But I feel like every time I ask him, he's going to be like, "Yeah, I'm still not retired." You yeah, know, he's not going to retire. He's going to keep saying that until the end of his life. <laughs> yeah, he'll be like on oxygen. Uh, no, not retired yet. Not retired. Yeah, <laughs> he dies and he's like not retired yet. <laughs> yeah. Did um yeah? My parents hate when I put them on the on the internet without their consent. Have you? My I did. I had a joke about my mom getting abortions, and she lost her fucking mind at that. And like, I was mad because I was like, "Fuck you!" It's comedy. But then I was like, "Okay, I get it." And she's like, "You cannot talk about my personal things on stage." Da da da. And I was like, but you, "The thing about being a comedian is that like we kind of get to do that." Uh, yeah. It's like for laughs. Come Can on, I talk come about on. your abortion for laughs, mom? Give me a chance. Come on. These random 19 year olds want to hear. But you know? people have gotten abortions the before. Most, the most painful part of her life. And I'm just like, eh, pfft, you know, in front of strangers. Yeah. The most intimate parts because, of like, my mom's you life. You don't even feel, because for me personally, like something bad will happen. And then I, I do need a little time before I can talk about it. Yeah. But then I can't stop talking about it. Yeah. And it's kind of a way for me to. Like it's a therapy in a way to get it off my chest and then make other people feel less alone. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's exactly it. And then I'm like, every we're all human. We all have fucked up shit. So many people have had abortions. Like I went to the psych ward. I don't like talking about it, but if other people, if I can make other people feel less alone, then like- And it does. And it does. It 100% does. I get people, I mean, I was at a fucking AA meeting the other night and a girl came up to me and she was like, you're like one of the reasons I'm here. And I was like, great. Like, that's amazing. You that know, it's amazing. It's great. Mm-hmm. Like the fact that you can have a platform where you can talk about these things and it helps people. Right. The fuck else is the point of anything, you know? Right. Exactly. I've like learned everything from people that I listen to. Who I'm like, whoa, you can talk I know about this. What people do you like to listen to? Cause I know you're into podcasts. Like, yeah. I listen to a lot of, I listen to a lot of like NPR based podcasts. I listen to Hidden Brain a lot. I listen Hidden Brain. I don't know. Hidden that. Brain's a good one. Hidden Brain's a really good one. It's from NPR. I listen to uh um why do I uh I listen to Andrew Huberman's podcast. And Huberman Labs. Huberman Labs is good. I listen to Dak Shepherds. I really like his Armchair Expert. Yeah, because he gets a lot of he gets fucking experts in there and he, you know, it's interesting to hear about. That's cool. Yeah, I like the ones that are dealing with like psychology and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, psychology is interesting. I like listening to Russell Brand. I like listening. I love Russell Brand. He's the best. And Duncan Trussell. And when they just did a podcast together, and those are like two of my favorite people. I I feel like I've listened to Duncan Trussell a little bit, but I'm not super familiar. I think I would really like him, though. You would really like him. I go through periods of time of like listening to him and then non listening to him, and like depending on how busy I am. But depending on the guests, I'll I'll listen. Yeah. Because he's really smart and his conversations are are different than other comedy podcasts. Yeah. Okay, I'll listen. He's an interesting guy. I like that. Eckhart Tolle, my man. I love me some fucking Eckhart. (laughs) Eckhart Tolle, go off, Uh, Dude, that's the, he's the king. Power of now. Power of now. A new earth. New earth. He's always trying to get laughs in his talks, and I'm like, okay. No. Yeah, he's always. Okay, so listen to this shit. I was on a dating app, speaking of trying to get laughs and stuff. (laughs) Fuck. uh, This guy was hot. Which app? Raya. Oh. He's hot. Okay. He's hot. He's hot. Third picture, him giving a TED talk. I'm out. Really? I'm out. I can't have you with the headset giving Gave a talk. Gave you the ick, huh? I was like, I can't take him what seriously. What do you think it was on? 
I don't care. Oh, see, you're wild for that. I would see that and I'd be like, wait a second. Would you go watch the TED Talk? I would watch the fucking TED Talk. I saw the TED Talk and I got the ick. That's so, I can see why you would. I would not. I would see that and I'd be like, mm, daddy. I'm like, I like that. <laughs> you do? But I get that's what you would. That's a green wouldn't. flag for you? That's a green flag. That's a red. But I can see why it's a red flag. Well, it's such a red flag. The TED Talk? But see, there are two, there but are like, two imagine parts. You're so, yeah. sleeping in bed with someone who's getting ready for his TED talk. Yeah, dude, day. he's up in the, he's up in the middle of the night. He's writing. He's thinking. Ugh. Yeah. A man that thinks. Yikes. No, I'm just kidding. Don't you want have, it. I see, I'm in. I want fucking TED talk guy. TED talk guy. Yeah. No, it's the headset for me. No, the headset's really dorky. It's still all of it. And just, I just was like, I don't, I don't respect what he does. Already. Yeah, he's on stage. That's already bad. And he's not holding a mic. He's just walking around with his hands loose. He's like a performer, but like not funny. You know? And you're like, oh. Yeah. Hmm. hmm." And Oh, are we going to talk about science? Yeah. Yeah. With a little clicker. And then you're like, okay, and next. Like, that's my fucking nightmare. That's my man, dude. That's my man. Ugh. I just like. Send him to me. Like, the older I get, the ick gets stronger and stronger. What would you prefer over a TED Talk guy? What's. Unfortunately, this is how I know I'm fucked up. Yeah. A musician. That's really bad. (laughs) Sarah, that's really bad. I know. I know. So you're going to tell me you're on fucking riot. You're going through it and you see a guy with a drum set. No, and you're that's like, that's yeah. it. No. Yes. And I see a guy with a TED You're talk wrong headset. for that one, bitch. You are <laughs> wrong for that. And that's he, a no. No, because here's the thing. No. The TED talk guy is going to be also more successful than the fucking musician. Well, th- I mean, yes, I've gotten HPV from a drummer. Doesn't <laughs> stop me from, from swiping right uh, on the musicians. Do you still have your HPV or did it go? It went away. Mine too. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Dude. And that's on having clean pussy. And that's, that's the only thing I've ever had. People, I also, when I read the comments, people are like, this girl is like a walking STD. I'm like, I've never had one except for HPV. HPV. That I got in fucking that's it. High school, probably. I know, but I got all the vaccines for it, but yeah. I still got it. The fuck is that about? Well, that was weird. They, they all said one less. I'm like, well, one more because I got it anyway. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're fuck like, off. Well, yeah, but you didn't get the really b- bad strains. If you didn't have the vex, you would have gotten the really bad strains. They all like, said. Yeah, okay. So they all okay. say. I yeah. can't believe you would go. I, I a can't musician over, this. over a TED Talker? You see a musician day. and you're like, mm mm. Yeah. No. You don't you think like music? Music? No, I'm not in musicians. I like musicians, artists, I like artists. writers. Artists and writers, do fuck off with an actor and fuck off with a musician. An if I see you're an actor, gonna be a like, no for me, dog. You, a musician, unless you're Brad motherfucking Pitt. That's a unless yeah, unless you're, I did as if Brad Pitt would see me and be like, <laughs> now that's my girl. <laughs> what if he was? What if you started dating Brad Pitt? That would be incredible. I mean, he dated <laughs> Juliet Lewis, which is like pretty fucking cool. And that's pretty cool. He gets in your car; it's the bumper stickers on it. Yeah, and he's like, I'm trying to suck my own dick. And he goes, "That's my girl." I go, "Do you get it?" <laughs> Me and Pitt, you, <laughs> you and Pitt riding off into the sunset. He's so hot. He's so hot. And he's he just so gets hotter hot. and hotter. He's crazy. Cause I'm not attracted to like conventionally hot guys, but he's like, so he's so hot. It's fucked up. He's really hot. He's just like some guy from Ohio. You know, Dude. do you think like, so hot. do you think when you have a kid that's like a young Brad Pitt, you're like, you know, your kid's good looking and you're like extra worried. Yeah, I, I, I feel, feel like, like it's an, more a, common for guys to think that about their daughters for some yeah. weird reason. Guys look at their daughters and they're like, she's going to be a hot one. Yeah. What is that? It's the weird. It's men. <laughs> no, don't bring up my fucking primal rage again. They all. <laughs> well, like, they, <laughs> but like, we're going to, I'm going to get my gun ready. <laughs> yeah, they all do. Oh, she's going to be a heartbreaker. I'm like, ew. Ew, don't she's call your four. daughter a heartbreaker. <laughs> yeah. If she looks anything, if she likes, it looks anything like her mom. One time my dad, <laughs> so gross. I, da- I remember one time my dad like made a comment. I remember I heard him on the phone with his friends and he was like, yeah, I'm not worried about her because she doesn't have any tits. And I was like, excuse oh, me? Oh, no. Excuse no. me? No, no, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Dude, okay, yeah. I want to know something funny. When Kim and I were in a green room at a cl- at a comedy club recently, after we were the only girls in the green room, and then like everyone left, and I found a coaster, and on the back of the coaster it just said "Hot Girls Be Cray," 
So someone was calling us crazy in the green room and then I found I found the coaster and then I took it home as a souvenir. That's really funny. And now I just have it in my house. Just and that's like, making the best out of an ins- weird situation. <laughs> Hot girls be crying. I'm like, who knows? What, I, we were just being ourselves. I'm sure it was crazy. Because men ex- think that women need to be like docile little fucks. That's why Michelle fucking Duggard had 4,000 kids. <laughs> and the way, the, do I, in this documentary, the way that she like addresses all of the kids, everything. That would you be nice because mommy is going to punish you if you're not nice. And then everybody in the documentary is like, she would speak like this because it like, first of all, it makes you like seem more docile to men, you know, to be like, okay, anything you want, I'll do for you. Like you can't. That's like haunted. It's haunted. Like a haunted Mary <laughs> Poppins. They said a hot girls be crazy. No, you know, I can't. Hot girls be crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, why? Because I was probably like, damn my lip gloss, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Punch me. I'm like, well, I wasn't being crazy. I just was being myself. You're, being, you're just being a fight. A human. You're being a human woman. Yeah. But because you're not like, mm-hmm. hi, boys. Does anybody want to fuck me? <laughs> they were, you know, hi. <laughs> they think you're crazy. Yeah. Do you feel like you have to dress more masculine when you're going to do stand up? Hell yeah. Same. Hell yeah, dude. Like, you took my no, dick you, in and hit the stage. You fucking dress cute though on stage. You're good at that. It's a fine line. Like yeah. I used to always wear skirts and stuff. That's now wild. I'm, now I'm transitioning into more like. You did skirts. I get jealous of girls I can do. I can't do it. But I also have so many tattoos that I like try to keep things as like. Not distracting. As, yeah, as like neutral as possible. Cause I know that the way I look is already like, I got shit on my fucking teeth. I got- You got so many more I gems got, than the last I time so I saw you. I got so many fucking gems. I'm yeah. getting a gem. Get, they're so cute. Okay, they're I so have. cute. Just Your teeth one. are so white. Thank you. What are you, what are you using? Crest white, Crest That's whitening it? toothpaste. Insane. Just the toothpaste. They look good. Get a gem. They're fucking cute. Get a gem. Yeah, I went, I went so crazy with mine, but I like the way they look. I like them too. Every day also on social media, people leave comments. What the fuck happened to your teeth? Brush your teeth. I'm like, it's so, they're crystals. No. <laughs> it's crystals. People think that you, you're, you don't brush your they teeth. They think I don't brush my teeth. And I'm like, you wish you could afford these two This gems. mouth. You wish you could afford this. I can't even afford I mean, this no, mouth. I'm doing, the, I'm doing the math. Like, oh, that might be more money than I have in my bank account. Like, this, 100 the, hair, 100 hair, they, 100 hair. Yeah. <laughs> that shit adds up. They, the girl that did these did them for a very discounted price so she could put it on her social media. Mm-hmm. But what it would cost for like one tooth gem is what she charged me for the full thing, which is like a hundred bucks. That's amazing. Right? They're expensive. But one is usually between Tattoos like 80 and 90 bucks. Tattoos and tooth gems, sweetie. Girl, on top of the fucking Botox and everything. Right? It's expensive out here. It's expensive. And then you go out with a guy and they're like, actually, I don't know. Can you pay? Yeah, I'm like this is not gonna. And you go continue. with the guy, and they go, "I just like girls that look natural." And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> As I have like shit tattooed on my face. <gasps> oh, not <like> natural. <laughs> what is that, dude? You're not because you don't have. You're not fucking. I have some tattoos. You have some. You have a cute amount. I have like four. Yeah, you have a cute amount. You have a healthy amount. I want more. You do, but not big, but a few more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fun. It's healthy. It's fun. It is until you go. Unless you're like me you and you go space? insane. No, I have so much space left. I just don't have the money right now. <laughs> Do you think about the blank spaces on your body and how you want to fill them? Every day. That's what That's Every what day. a lot of my tattoo people, Every my day. friends who are really tattooed mm-hmm. are like, things are going to be different when I get my back tattooed. Yeah. You I'm think, like, what? You think you're like, as soon as it's done, <laughs> yeah. watch out. <laughs> yeah. Every tattoo, you're like, this one's going to complete me. I'm going to be, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the best version of myself. I'm going to feel so much better. And then you feel worse. Cause you just like are like $600 <laughs> more in debt. And you just have this like fucking thing on your skin forever. And you're like, all right, dude, this one I got on my face. I don't regret it, but it was very much like, I got one on my leg and then we finished and I was like, should I do something on my face? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay. (laughs) (laughs) We just did that. There was no thought. I put no thought into any of this, which is a scary thing about myself. Does some of them, do you put thought into? None. No. No. You're just like that. Or do you know what you want in your head? No. Do you pick it up off of a wall? They usually, like the guys that I go to for the most part, I I just make an appointment. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, hey, I don't know what I want. And they'll be like, okay, cool. And then I get to the shop and I go through their um, flash book and it's like, you know, whatever they have. And I'm like, okay, I want that one. Yeah. And that's it. And I, that's it. I put no thought into any of them. Cause if I did, I feel like I would regret it more. 
<laughs> if it meant so much. The one, to you. the one that I put, I had two fucking tattoos that I put thought into, and they were the worst decisions I'd ever made. So really, yeah. Which one, I, the, Frida? The Frida on my back, <laughs> which I love, but it's yeah. ugly. Right. I don't regret. It's just that was one. I if I could read, I don't know. And then my first one, which was my Harry Potter tattoo, which is covered. Oh, your Harry Potter tattoo. Yeah, and that was the first, and I put thought into that. I said, I can't wait. I'm going to get a Harry Potter. And that's what happens when I put, when I put thought into things. That's what happens. You get Harry Potter quibbage. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a quick game of quibbage on your arm. Quidditch. Quidditch. What was I calling it? Quibbage. I like how you just corrected me. You're you said, like, sorry, you said quibbage. Harry Potter stan. I forgot. What's just a like Harry Potter stan? Just don't do it again. <laughs> just don't do it again. It's Quidditch. Quidditch. When you I said that you in my cringe. head. I, I can see you cringing. I was like, I'm saying it wrong. I and was then like, I double do I correct? And said it wrong. You couldn't help it. The second time. The it was second like time I, I was said like, your it. name wrong when I said it. I was like, and it was like that. It, it was like that. I'm like, how does she I'm not sorry, know? Harry Potter stan. <gasps> Once a Harry Potter stan, always. Maybe you should get it back. Maybe I honestly should. should <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, should I get it retattooed? Yeah, over yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so funny. Have you been to Harry Potter Land? I have not been to the one in LA. There's I, another. I went to the studios in London. Whoa. So <laughs> I kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> did it. Not to brag, but I kind of did the big one. Did it. I want to go to the Harry Potter land. I just, dude, I can't fucking, it's a fucking theme park. So they're so expensive and they just, the lines. I'm like, do I, I don't want to do this. I want to go to Mario land. I've heard it's fun. But like, yeah. Felipe, the guy I go on the road with was there yesterday for his birthday and he was posting all over his story and I was like, that looks great. Yeah, that's what comics we like to have a good time. <laughs> Even when the, yeah, but like do. you see him at an amusement park, you're like, yeah, that looks great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Other adults are like, oh, I don't want to take my kids. That's so funny. <laughs> We're like, yeah, I can't wait to go to Harry Potter Land and Mario and Kart Mario Land. Land. <laughs> yeah. Wait, have you done? Um, have you been on a hot air balloon? No. Okay. Are you? I like the aesthetic of a hot air balloon. Me too. But I don't know if I would like to go on one. Why not? You scared of heights? Yeah, I'm scared of heights and also a hot air balloon in 2023 with global warming. Whoa, now we're getting political. <laughs> I like Sorry, but we gotta consider some things. I don't know what kind of weather we're gonna have. Oh. Look at the weather lately. You just made me not wanna do it. You wanna do it? I heard I err on the side of caution for most things. I'm a neurotic e Jew. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I get that. So I'm like, Yeah. Life, a hot air balloon. Hot Do you want to go in a hot air balloon I'm ride? I want to go hot air balloon. When? I'm terrified of heights. You are, but terrified. you're going to go in one? I kind of want to. Can you film your you on the hot air it's balloon? It's just going to be me like sitting on the ground because I don't want to look over. <laughs> yeah, alone. <laughs> Maybe I, I'll ask my boyfriend if he wants to go for his birthday because I'm fucking down for a hot air balloon, dude. Not you forcing your agenda on his birthday. I'm going to force my <laughs> yeah. agenda, yeah. Don't you want to go on a hot air balloon ride, honey? Come on, babe. You're turning 30. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. He's a little tiny. He's turning 30. What a little baby. He is. Yeah. That's cute. It's tiny. Cute. Yeah. I guess I'm his mommy. You <laughs> <laughs> mommy. Not you being his mommy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> All right, well, that's our podcast. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, that's our podcast. Whoa, that flew by. That did fly by. Where can people find you? You can find me on a fucking hot air balloon in a week or so, <laughs> dude. Um, that's where I'll be. Uh, Instagram, Gabby Lamby, G-A-B-B-Y-L-A-M-B-Y, TikTok, G-A-B-B-Y-L-A-M-B-Y. That's it. And then your pod? Tea time. Tea time. We'll link Tea to time. that too. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks for coming on the pod and we'll see you guys next week on Shank. Subscribe, rate, review. Bye.